grungy boxcar come before I stop this video. I want to see what it is. Grungy old boxcar. Those are the ones I like. This is another LRS. They uh, leased a lot of cars. I think bottom is all kinds of old places. You know, they have to go over and show it through. Okay. Nothing too exciting. I just I was walking around the end of the rail cars and I heard the mid train power coming. I thought, well, I'll at least look at that. There you go, there's a mill gondola that's still got the old uh, bar coach on the side. Back when they did that 30, 40 years ago. Ooh, I hear an air hood. They can use a little bit of air there. In the AMG X car, that SPKX car. Nice. 154. Ah, mobile. MBLX. You see mobile? Pennsylvania by Pullman Standard. I don't know if that's a Pullman Standard car or not, but my mama grew up in Butler, Pennsylvania, and I had a couple uncles and cousins that worked that place over the years. And then I grew up in Huntington, West Virginia, where American Car Foundry built a lot of the, uh, like that MBLX car that Mobile had. So both those places, the one in Butler, Pennsylvania, is for Pullman Standard, and the American Car Foundry car in Huntington, West Virginia are closed now and have been. Uh, 20, almost 15, 20 years for Huntington and much longer than that for the Butler, Pennsylvania one. But So that's part of the reason why I focus in on covered hopper cars so much. All right, that in my work, that being that I unload so many of the uncovered hopper cars. 